Now, they were not Muslims, but that's what they called themselves, Nation of Islam. I say they're not Muslims because in their own newspaper today, they're the same people. They say Allah came in the form of a man in 1935. A black man. And his name was Master W. Farad. So that's kufr. That's shirk. And they say that this man, Master W. Farad, who was supposed to be a law in the person, nominated and selected Elijah Poole or Elijah Muhammad as his messenger and prophet. That's another form of kufr and another form of shirk. So kufr, kufr, shirk, shirk. So Elijah Muhammad said that there was no paradise, no hereafter, another form of kufr, another form of shirk. He said that paradise is in this life and hellfire is in this life and resurrection is only in the mind. So this is kufr again. So kufr, 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 kufr now. And he said that the Quran was given to him by Allah, Master W. Farad, to be interpreted for this time only for the black man, another form of kufr. So five times kufr. So they are pure kafirs. The man called Louis Farrakhan, Minister Louis Farrakhan. No doubt. No doubt he is the student and the follower of Elijah Muhammad and he has built a platform upon that same platform. And we have to give credit where credit is due. They are Kafirs, pure Kafirs, because they are still saying today exactly what Elijah Muhammad said in 1945. They are still saying today in their newspaper Anyone can go to www Nation of Islam or www The Final Call. Go to www The Final Call or www The Nation of Islam and you will see that they say today exactly what Elijah Muhammad said 1945 no difference even though Minister Farrakhan, as he calls himself, makes Hajj maybe every five years. Even though his followers, he's taking with him every year 150, 250, 350 of his followers to Hajj every year. And he's being invited to make Hajj by the people in Saudi Arabia. I don't know why. I don't know why. He's the guest of the government. And they're making Hajj every year. And every single year in Chicago, he has something called Savior's Day in Chicago. This is their, their big day. This is their Eid. And every year, the Azhar University sends their representative to Savior's Day. I'm not blaming the Azhar University. I'm saying the biggest sheikh from there is there every year. One of the imams from the Haram will be there in Chicago every year. The leaders of the biggest Islamic organizations in America will be there every year. Why those people are supporting Minister Farrakhan, why they are praying with him, why they are sitting with him, why they are giving him credence, I don't know. But Allah is the witness. You can get it on DVD. And he says, clearly, if I'm wrong, why is the whole Muslim world represent representatives here with me today? So this is one of the reasons, na'udhu billah, that his organization continues because it is given the support and the credence and the recognition by some of the biggest organizations, Muslim organizations in the world. Although they are pure kafirs, meaning Minister Louis Farrakhan and his group. Those who are supporting him, they are not Kafirs. 
they are Muslims. Why they are supporting, why they are recognizing, Allahu A'lam. It's not for me to say. But I have to make the record straight. Khalid didn't say this. You can go to www, Nation of Islam, www, Final Call, and you will see the Savior's Day. Put it in there, Savior's Day, Nation of Islam. And you will see all the videos, and you will see all the shuyukh from the Haram, from Jordan, Mufti from Lebanon, the Mufti from Jordan, the Mufti from so-and-so, the Mufti from this place, the Imam of the Haram, the head of Isna, the head of Ikna, the head of all the Islamic organizations. They are there with him, shaking hands and embracing him like he is a Muslim. Walau. In spite of that, his organization, it is not growing. Because one of the beautiful things about Islam is that a liar is a liar. And his lie does not grow after him. It either stays where it is or it becomes smaller and smaller. But a prophet is a prophet. And his message grows after him. Greater than it was even while he was living. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has caused this nation to grow. The real Islamic nation. And he has caused the nation of the liar to be as it is. And when, he, and when Farrakhan dies, that lie will become smaller and smaller until it rots away. And we ask Allah that those people who are following him with sincerity, that they will become Muslims inshallah. We have to give credit, however, that Elijah Muhammad, although he was a liar, although he was not a prophet, although he made said lies about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was a social reformer. What is a social reformer? A social reformer is a man who helps people to come from the lowest form of social degradation until they come to a level of self-esteem. Elijah Muhammad was successful in causing men and women who were drunkards, drug addicts, prostitutes, pimps, criminals, he was able to reform them and clean them up and make them into productive people, fathers, mothers, businessmen, and di uh, distinguished people and respectful people, men like Malcolm. Because Malcolm was not the only one like himself. This is what you need to know. There were thousands of people that was like Malcolm X but they did not have his voice. Allah didn't give them the same gift. But their conviction, their sincerity, their social reform was just like Malcolm. Because they said Islam. Because they said Quran. Because they stopped drinking. Because they stopped drugging. You see, when a person stops drinking and drugging and fornicating and stealing and lying and all these kinds of things, they become clear-headed, clear-hearted. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because they were making shirk, He never gave them the huda. He never gave them the huda. And there are many people. Jehovah Witness, they are clean people. Jehovah Witness, clean people, but they are mushrikeen. The Mormons, clean people, mushrikeen. Seventh-day Adventists, clean people, mushrikeen. So many of the people, they are clean, they're morals, they don't steal, they don't lie, they love God, they do this, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ شَرُّ الْبَرِيَّةِ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ خَيْرُ الْبَرِيَّةِ They are شَرُّ الْبَرِيَّةِ because they are making shirk against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are lying against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are lying about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have polluted the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah has polluted their lives and He has prepared for them Jahannam even though we might think they are pious.